It's our last day at Tokyo Disney Sea, and it's dedicated to Duffy the Disney Bear. I'm not sure if you know this, but in Japan, Duffy and Friends is a huge phenomenon. And today we are set to explore Cape Cod, a theme park land dedicated to them, including special food, limited time drinks, exclusive merchandise, and a spectacular musical stage show. We'll meet Duffy and Shelly May, and we'll try to show you why Duffy and Friends is so special. Come with us on this adventure. The characters are all out and they have such unique outfits. Yeah, their outfits are so cute. And did you see how like small Mickey was? Yeah. He was tiny. He was so short and little. Did you see Donald's bucket hat? Yeah. They were all so freaking cute. I loved all their outfits. Wow. They just have Clarice walking around meeting and greeting here. Yeah. This truly is the best place on earth. Well, today's gonna be the day of cute. Today is. Today we're finally having my Duffy day, Duffy and friends. We're going to a Duffy show. We're gonna look at all the merch. We're gonna meet Duffy, hopefully. People who don't know, Duffy the Disney bear is like huge here in Japan. Yeah, he's he's everything. America rejected him. They, they accept him here. here and I'm very happy that we're finally having our Duffy day. We're gonna start our morning by hopping aboard the Disney Sea Transit steamer line over here in the Lost River Delta section of the park and take it to the American waterfront. I think this little boat actually goes throughout like the entire loop of the park. And I've been wanting to go on this since the first day we came here, so it's finally time. So you can actually meet Duffy over in this area. I meet and greet location is right underneath the dock where we're gonna load onto the boat. I knew he met over here, but I didn't know where. But isn't that kind of random? He's like underneath this little area. <laughs> Like, and there's already huge lines, so we'll come back for sure and meet him over here. The boat ride here is so delightful. Yeah, it's so cool when you go through like the different lands, it plays music. I would almost say if you come here for the first time, maybe take the boat ride around to the different lands to kind of get an overview. Yeah. It's very nice. But one thing we learned is it's not like the Disneyland train where you can stay on it. You actually have to get off at each stop and then get back on it. Yeah. But it was very easy. There wasn't that long of a line to get back on. But it was kind of interesting. I just assumed you stayed on it. We finally made our way over to the Cape Cod area of the park and it is so charming. They're playing this really nice music. Does it remind you of Cape Cod? Peter's been to Cape Cod. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. It's like a seaside New England town. Very charming, very delightful, very like worn. That sea breeze wears down the paint and stuff like that. Yeah, it makes me like want to visit the East Coast like for the fall time. We should do it. But we're in Japan during the fall time and we're tech, you know, so it's kind of <laughs> like we're there. But this is even better because this has Duffy and friends. You know what, first we should stop and look at the Duffy merchandise. We've been here for a few days already and you've restrained. I've, I've been like, let's wait until the Duffy day. 
Yeah, so we're gonna go wild looking at all the merch. Yeah, let's go to I'm Aunt, excited. Let's go to Aunt Peg's Village Store, which by the way has one of the coolest signs ever. Like there's like these cats. Our friend Nate would love this. Yeah. Okay, I think this is the first place we're gonna find Duffy merch. <laughs> this is heaven. Oh my god, you see the jumbo Duffy? That big one? We saw somebody carrying that the other day and I was wondering where they got it from. They have a medallion maker, which I think is kind of like a pressed penny machine where you could get some Disney characters, including Gelatoni. I'm gonna give you a brief history about Duffy just in case you don't know, which I'm assuming a lot of you might not. Duffy is a little teddy bear that was made by Minnie Mouse as a gift to Mickey Mouse, who was a sailor at sea. You know, I'm assuming he lived in Cape Cod and was going out to sea, so Minnie thought he would- Oh yeah, there's a sign out there that actually says like, Bon Voyage, Mickey. Yeah. So he's off on his journeys. She didn't want him to be lonely, so she made him Duffy. And Duffy was his companion on when he was away from Minnie. And whenever he got lonely and he was thinking of Minnie, he would just look at Duffy and remember Minnie. And that's the basic story. When you buy Duffy, and when you buy all the characters here, it has their story and here we go oh wow they like condensed it a lot i wonder if the story changed <laughs> the storybook used to be different it was like literally like 20 pages of like step by step and then they got on the boat and then this and then that now it's just basically like minnie was missing mickey made duffy gave duffy to, to mickey and you think of a new adventure for duffy <laughs> Duffy was the bear that started it all, and along the way he has gathered six friends. Shelly May, who Minnie made for Duffy to keep Duffy company, so he, this was Duffy's first friend. Gelatoni, who is a painter, but instead of using paint, he uses gelato. So gela gelatoni. Get it? Yes. Stella Lou, she is a ballet dancer. And she's purple, and she's cute, and she's a bunny. And then there's Cookie Ann, who is a baker and also a dog. And then there's Olu, who is a sea turtle. He lives in Hawaii and he plays the ukulele. And then last but not least, we have Lena Bell. She is pink. And what is Lena Bell? Is she like a, a fox? Probably some kind of... Yeah. And she's a detective. She likes to have her little magnifying glass and look at bugs and plants and... She's on the case. If you need something, she'll get the job done. So I think Duffy was created as kind of a competitor to Build-A-Bear, where you could buy all sorts of different outfits and dress them up. And the people in Disneyland and Walt Disney World didn't understand him. But the people in Japan fell in love they with him. They embraced him here. He was rejected in America. People here understand how <laughs> awesome he is. Can we just talk about how Duffy and his friends are more stylish than we are? He's even got reading glasses, little beanies. Oh my God, look at these little gloves over here that say Cape Cod and this little scarf. Yeah, all this stuff is exclusive to <laughs> here. so funny. Oh, you can even get them as like little luggage. Yeah. They even have sleeping versions of Duffy. So if you want him to sleep beside you in bed, in Japan, they love their paper goods. They love their calendars. They love their pens. They love their like little notepads. Just like everything else in Tokyo Disney Sea, they celebrate with headbands, and of course, they have headbands for all the characters here. Everybody knows green is my color. Olu is my man, and he he's wearing like a bucket hat. Should <laughs> I get him? Perfect. Yes. Walk around all day like this? Maybe. <laughs> they even have the characters sleeping. He's like pass out. This is like me when I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is more like me. Oh, oh my god, he's like holding his blanket and it's in his mouth. Stop it. Look at Cookie. Oh my god, why do I want all of these? I'm 40 years old. They have like the little hanging charm thing, whatever they're called here. They have a bunch of the sleeping characters. They're called Duffy Sweet Dream. I already bought Duffy <laughs> holding a book, but now I want to buy all the characters sleeping and put them on my bag. And they even have puppets. If you like puppets and you have small hands. Not what Olu sounds like. Even sell Duffy and Shelly made pasta. I would never want to eat this. Ever. These almost look like they're marshmallows filled with chocolate and they have the characters' faces on there. I saw this the other day and I thought it was just like a statue, but apparently it's a cell phone holder. Yeah, you put your phone there. 
I could watch all my YouTube videos like that from now on. Well, you could just charge it and leave it like yeah. that at night. <laughs> oh my god, look at this purse. It has them sleeping inside it. That is so cute. So cute. I love this reusable bag down here because inside is a little blanket. This has Duffy. I oh, feel that'd like... be good for like if you're waiting in line for like one yeah. of the parades. Or like it's like a baby blanket or for me, I'm going to use it for our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Duffy the Disney bear. If you don't know... Now you know. Now you know. I've been seeing everybody wear this around the park, and I was like, oh, I hope that wasn't like a thing that came out five years ago and people are just wearing them. No, you could still get it. Look at the back. We have Tuff Duffy's little butt with the Mickey logo. <laughs> they do this a lot in Japan where you have this like little packet that unfolds into a reusable bag. Uh, because you always need a reusable bag because you don't <laughs> throw away trash anywhere in the city. But they also have like a, a rug. Do we need a bathroom yes. mat with Duffy on it? I mean, why are you asking me? You know, it, the answer is going to be yes. It says comfy and cozy with Duffy. Yes. Speaking of sleeping bears, they have a, a little nightlight lamp kind of thing. This is a must buy. This is an instant purchase. They're little hair clips. Look at this. Do you think this will make it home like in our suitcase? They're like little cookies with all their faces on it. And then you get to keep this cute little tin that kind of like reminds me of the show we're going to go see. Yeah. One of the things that surprised me is they don't really have like confectionery, so you can't get like candy apples and stuff. You just get these kind of things, which have like tins. This one says from all of us. I've seen a lot of people going around with this. So basically you can put this, it's like a backpack, and you can put it on your Duffy or Duffy and Friends doll, and it'll turn it into basically a purse. If you need to know the full story on Duffy and all his friends, they do have a line of books. I think they're only in Japanese, though. So when I was checking out, they offered me like a plastic bag for 20 yen, or a reusable bag. The small one was a thousand yen, so quite the difference. Yeah. But I thought it was so cute, and it says, what mystery will you solve with Lena Bell? But I love like the the artwork. It looks like she has a big head and like a little body. This is actually genius because you could put stuff in the sides too. So if I got like a bottle of water or something, I could just put it right in here. So if you walk up to the lighthouse, you get a nice vantage point of all of Cape Cod. And I gotta say, I love how the volcano actually becomes just a mountain from the other side. It's so well themed, so well thought out. So I guess my question is, was this little Cape Cod area here before Duffy? Or did they build this specifically for Duffy? Because there isn't really much here. There's a bathroom, a restaurant, a stage show, and like a little shop, and that's pretty much it. So I didn't do my research, I'm sorry. But I don't like, know. But I, now it's Buff it's Duffy Town. Yeah, it's Duffy Town. <laughs> and, and I love Duffy Town. Duffy Town population eight. Because it's Duffy and his friends and then me. So the eight of us live here now. What about me? So now we're heading to Cape Cod Cook-Off. This is a restaurant, but they also have a show that you have to reserve months in advance to get to see the show. And the show is called Duffy and Friends Wonderful Friendship. And it's about a 75 minute experience and it costs 2,600 to 3,600 yen per person. So that's like $18 to $25 per person. And with that, you get a set of food, that includes an entree, a dessert, some french fries, and a drink. The food that comes included is called the Cape Cod Cook-Off First Price Set. And what this is, is a cheese bread sandwich with roast beef, potato salad, and peach on the inside, french fries, and your choice of a drink. It comes in this really cute packaging. I feel like I'm gonna wanna save all the packaging. I've been like dreaming of coming to this restaurant for as long as I've been a fan of Duffy. And we got a really, really good seat. We're like front and center. I don't know how we managed to pull that off, but we did. <laughs> the roast beef is cold, and then it's like canned peaches and some potato salad. The peaches give it a little bit of sweetness mixed with the roast beef. It's actually like surprisingly good. It just tastes like a, you know, a, something that Duffy would enjoy, right? Does he enjoy cheese sandwiches with roast beef? <laughs> For the cuteness level, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. The dessert that comes with this is the strawberry and milk mousse. It has a cute little Duffy printed on like a vanilla little crisp on top. We're gonna have to 
eat him. No. Very creamy, very strawberry, very delightful. I give it like a four out of five Peters. And the real reason we're here is not the food, it's to see this show. It used to be a different show before. It used to be like the show of how Duffy's origin. It used to be Duffy's origin story. I think it's now just like a show with Duffy and some of his friends, which I'm still all about. They got rid of Tippy Blue. Peter was so good about getting reservations here at Tokyo Disney, and he was so excited when he got this one for me. He's like, you're never going to believe it. I got Duffy's, Duffy's Cape Cod cook-off or whatever it's called. Yeah. And I, I already know I'm going to cry. So bear with me. Bear with me. Get it? <laughs> Do you think any of it's going to be in English, or is it all going to be I think it's all, it can all be in Japanese. I literally have no idea. I haven't seen the updated show, but I have seen videos of the previous show. <laughs> I used to watch them, like, all the time, like a weirdo. And I'm not sure if people that aren't, like, aware of the Duffy fandom know how hard they go here. Like, people bring all their Duffy plush stuffed animals. They line them up next to while they're eating and, like, have, like, little meals. I wish I could show you. Like, there's so many people dressed as Duffy characters in this room. It, it, it's kind of heartwarming. It's amazing. <laughs> We'd like to thank Tokyo Trade and Sakurako for sponsoring this portion of today's video. One of our favorite things when we went to Japan was trying all the unique Japanese snacks and treats. These subscription boxes allow you to taste and experience Japan from the comfort of your home. Oh my god, there's so much in here. Each one of these boxes has 15 to 20 wow. full-size snacks. I have a whole bag of Kit Kats. Each box has its own theme, and this one is New Year Snacking Party. I love that they're sweet and savory treats. So Tokyo Trade is packed with seasonal, limited edition, exclusive Japanese snacks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Looks like ramen. Yes. Okay, I gotta try these Kit Kats. So each one of these boxes comes with a 20 page booklet that tells you all the things you need to know about all the snacks. Happy New Year, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. The one thing I regret from our trip is we didn't try more snacks. Now we could try them all at home. And the theme of this box is New Year in Hiroshima. So this box has more artisan snacks and it supports local Japanese snack makers. And it has a more traditional authentic type of snacks in it. A little like fish the, treat. It has a little fish treat. I feel like this is like Christmas morning. Cheers. Cheers. Is that the bean paste in the middle? I think so. I would buy it. So this is a teyaki and it does have the sweet bean paste filling. I knew it. Oh, it has that thing from Epcot. Ooh. But it's banana flavored. Mmm. Each one comes with like a household item. This one comes with a furoshiki, traditional Japanese way of like wrapping. You can like wrap gifts or something. That's so pretty. If you want to get your box or get a box for your loved one, click on the link in the description below and use code ORDINARY and you can get $5 off your order. And now, back to the adventure. Oh, 
見をするチャンス演奏にも足を止めないなんてさっきダッフィーがくれたのうわダッフィーこの部屋にあるものでケーキの材料になりそうなものを集めてきて了解みんなで作ろう特別なレシピで力を合わせてユニークなものを Duffy and Friends character on stage. For some reason, I only thought it was going to be like a few of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. You got to see all seven of them, or eight, or six. I can't do math. But all of them were out there. That show was adorable. Even though I didn't understand a word they were saying, I completely understood it, and it was very enjoyable. If you can get reservations when you come here, do it. Over at Seaside Snacks, they have a Mickey chicken bun. This is about the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I think this is where they used to sell, there was like a Donald Duck, like life preserver, like shrimp bun that looked very similar to this, but this one is for the 40th anniversary and it's chicken and it has the Mickey ears on it. I love that, it's so cute. Why is everything here so cute? This is not at all what I was expecting. It's like a gyoza. It's like a chicken gyoza yeah. steamed bun. I don't know what, I just said chicken, so I was like, I don't know, it could be spicy chicken, it could be chicken salad, it could be fried chicken, like, I don't know. But it tastes very similar to that Nautilus gyoza we got on the first day that we were here. Absolutely delicious. Cooked to perfection, cute as can be, five out of five. This is like the perfect grab-and-go snack, I am obsessed. I just bit into the ear, and it's like a teriyaki chicken in the ears. Ooh, Which yum. just proves that the ears are always the best part. <laughs> Ordinary grilled cheese star. Duh. <laughs> One of my favorite things that they do here at Tokyo Disney Sea is there are photo spots throughout the park where you could bring your Duffy or one of his friends stuffed animal set it up and get the perfect photo and they're literally called like Duffy photo spots and I just like absolutely adore that you see people doing that with basically any stuffed animal. Like we saw somebody doing it with like a Mickey doll earlier, a little pumpkin, some little corn. You put your, your stuffed animal right here. Yeah, some of them are like, don't put your baby here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't put your baby there, that's for sure. Over at Cape Cod Confections, that's the place that's like the firehouse, they sell these little chocolate candies that come with a special Duffy and Friends carrying case. Can I get these two? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so initially I wasn't gonna buy any of these, but then we got in line because we just wanted to look at them. And then I wanted to buy all of them, but then I only bought two of them. And now I'm like, should I have bought all of them? 
but I'm afraid my chocolate's gonna melt throughout the day if I don't eat it all. But yeah, they give you like this little teeny bag of like, I'm guessing M&M type of chocolate candies. So I think you just open it right in the front. You put your little candies. This, You know what? This is another thing that you could put your coins in. <laughs> I feel like everything, we're like, you could put your coins in there, but like you really could if you wanted to. And I've noticed that they have like these little things all throughout the park, not just Duffy themed, like they have seasonal ones for Halloween, they have like 40th anniversary ones. So I think this is just like a thing that they do here. Yeah. Japan, they like to carry their candies and cute yeah, little I things. Yeah, I don't understand it, but like I'm not mad at it. <laughs> like I ended up buying this one and the Lena Bell one. And look at them, Duffy's face are on the chocolate. Wow. Okay, this was a good purchase. So we're back in Cape Cod Cook-Off because there's some other stuff that we couldn't get during our showtime. They have another, I think it's another candy holder. There's also a Lena Bell sleeve that you put like on a warm drink and then right next to it, there's like a Duffy golden spoon. <laughs> From the Cape Cod Cook-Off, we got the Gelatoni Limonada. This has frozen milk beads and I assume there's a Fanta Lemon on the menu because we know it's a lemon flavor but they don't really give you what it is and i'm sure these frozen milk beads are dipping dots yeah they look like dipping dots yeah and you, you get this like little hand warmer which in this case does warm your hands because this drink's cold it's such a weird sensation because you have these frozen milk beads mixed with this like carbonated lemon soda and it goes together in an interesting way i give it like a Four out of five Peters. Actually, maybe having this included <laughs> bumps it up. This okay, we'll give it a five. We'll this give it a five. And now we're gonna go to the Cape Cod Village Greeting Place because this is actually where you can meet Shelly May. And I love this, like, cute. It's so cute. There's <laughs> Duffy streamers. It says, We are all Daffy for Duffy. I'm excited. Look at the costumes, the Friends of Duffy costume parade costumes. Love it, I absolutely love it. Duffy has friends all over the world, but mostly Japan. So just so you know, they only allow one photo each, but they did give us some time to interact with her and like hug her and give her high fives. I got a butt check out of her somehow. But as far as characters that you could meet inside of Tokyo Disney Sea, you can meet Shelly Mae and you can meet Duffy. If you want to see the rest of the gang, you need to go to the dinner show that we went to. And of but, course you can meet like Olu and like Alani. Yeah, you can meet Olu and Alani and some of the other characters like in Shanghai or Hong Kong. But we got to meet Shelly Mae and she had a cute little pink outfit that was totally worth the wait. We probably waited, what, like 40 minutes or so? Yeah. The line moves pretty slow, but I think it was worth it. While you're in Cape Cod, this is where you can find the milk chocolate popcorn. And it smells so good. We kept walking past it. And finally, I was like, you know what? We just got to try it. I love chocolate. I love popcorn. You got Duffy's face like on the popcorn part. So I was like, it is a must. So it's not super sugary. Like I was expecting chocolate popcorn. You could still taste the regular popcorn underneath this with a hint of like Nesquik or like Hershey syrup or something, but it's not like overwhelmingly chocolate. It's not my favorite out of all the popcorns that we've tried, but you know, Duffy's got good taste. I'd give it like a four out of five. <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. You could put whatever you want there. What are you talking about? Next up on our Duffy tour of Disney Sea, we're going over to the American Waterfront where they have a store called McDuck's, which I think is all Duffy merchandise, including stuff that we haven't seen yet. laptop sleeve and it looks like an iPad sleeve but it says the bear of happiness and luck so is he no longer the Disney bear now he's the happiness and luck bear so they have the other ones that they didn't have in Cape Cod yeah, we found the rest of the collection I bought all three there so I need to buy the rest <laughs> oh my god they got a 3d moving pop-up version of the storybook 
telling the story of how Mickey got Duffy. They haven't erased him out of existence quite yet. This is what I've been looking for all day. Tippy Blue. Found him here in McDuck's. And if you want to know Tippy Blue's story, they've got it right here. So wait, what is Tippy Blue's story? Uh, I think he was just like the mailman in Cape Cod. And he would like deliver the mail or something. Oh, so he delivered Duffy yeah. to... Yeah. Right? Yeah, probably. Are they like, Mickey probably put like messages in a bottle and then like they came back to Cape Cod for Vinny or something. That's my guess. If you're wondering how much the huge Duffy and Friends are, it's 13,000 yen. So that's like probably like $90 American. The small Duffy and Friends that you put on like your bag are very popular. They have them in a variety of outfits. They even have like birthday editions. They have one for the 40th anniversary of Tokyo Disneyland. I found this Duffy, like basically it's like a pop socket. You put it on your iPhone. Okay, I thought these ones are big, but that you have even bigger ones that are 53,000 yen. So that's like $350 American. They're huge. I'm not sure if you can tell how big they are from this, but my hand is basically as big as his foot. <laughs> Now during the holidays they're doing these like cavalcades on the water. They call it the Disney Halloween breeding. And it's kind of fun. They just like are on a boat dancing to some really catchy music. And of course Duffy and Shelly Mae are included in the whole Mickey and Friends gang here in Japan because Japan knows what's up. Package here to Marcus Brody, a good Indiana Jones Easter egg. We took the riverboat back to the Lost Delta and now it's time to finally meet Duffy. your show earlier today. It was amazing. Yeah. We traveled all the way from California to meet you. Oh, yeah. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Oh, I love you so much. You're so cute. Oh, yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you, Duffy. Thank you, Duffy. Worth it. Was it worth, worth it. waiting 50 minutes yes. to meet Duffy? Yes, worth it. My feet hurt. I'm tired. I'm jet lagged but that made it all worth it. <laughs> I just love him so much. So this is the first time that we've even reached the Venice section of the park. They actually have a canal right here where you can take a Venetian gondola. And one of the cool things is our room is somewhere right over there. I love the idea that the hotel can become a theming for inside the park. Cookie Ann has a photo up where she's showing off her baked goods and Gelatoni is painting a picture right by the gondolas. We just sat down to dinner at the Italian restaurant. It is very well themed in here, of course, like everything at Tokyo Disney Sea. It's very elegant. There's like mood lighting. There's a pizza oven. Feels like I'm in Venice. This restaurant was highly recommended by so many people, including our friend Chris over at TDR Explore. 
For my dinner, I decided to get the spaghetti carbonara with mushrooms. It's interesting because all the restaurants and stands here usually serve like one or two items. This is like a sit down restaurant that you need reservations for. So they have like three appetizers and three entrees. So they got six. There's more options. The spaghetti is freshly cooked. The sauce on it is very flavorful. I like this a lot. I would give this like a four and a half out of five theaters. It's actually kind of a... And I ordered the margarita pizza, which looks and smells amazing. The awesome thing is they give you your own pizza cutter so you cut it yourself. <laughs> I like the charring on the, the oh, crust yeah. there. This looks, this looks very good. If I just ate this whole slice. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little floppy, but tastes good. The basil is good. The cheese and the tomato sauce is surprisingly flavorful. I'm giving it a five because it's hitting the spot right now and it actually is pretty dang delicious. I'm not sure if it's because we've been in Japan for over a week and I'm kind of craving something more my speed from home, but this is really good. I'll give it the ordinary. That's me, Mr. Romantic. Are you liking this? You already asked me that. I know. This is so relaxing. I know. Not awkward at all to be vlogging on this. Going to look cool with Not at all. I love it. That big wish is told that wish comes to Oh. Prince Kojas, make a wish. So make a wish as you go under. When you go under this bridge, you make a wish. <laughs> so the gondola ride through Venice is so delightful. So delightful. I, I loved it so much. <laughs> it was, I think it was worth it to wait until nighttime, even though I'm sure during the daytime it's just as good. But it felt like extra special at night for some reason. Just so you know, they do shut it down pretty early. I think like six or seven, because they can't do it during the nighttime show. As you saw, we actually went into the lagoon. Yeah. It is awesome. I almost fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Disney Sea has become our favorite theme park of all time. So good, I love it so much. I'm sad we're leaving. If you want to see the rest of our Tokyo adventures, we'll put the videos right over there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Tokyo Disney Sea.